Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight, today, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the weekly intuitive reading for the elements using the runes. And this week is for October 27th through November 2nd. This is the witching week. It's Samhain or Halloween today. This week is where the veil between worlds is very thin, reaching its culmination on the 31st of October. So, this week could be pretty magical for everybody because everything is going to be a little more available as far as the energy goes. So, we are going to do our little rune check-in and see how the vibe is going for everybody this upcoming week. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video, um, and if you have any thoughts, feelings, ideas, or suggestions, drop those in the comments down below. So we'll start off with reading for the fire energy, and fire covers Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So our Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, our fire family here, your first rune is the Rado rune. And it is a long journey on horseback. Color of bright red. Tarot association is the Hierophant. And astrology is Sagittarius. So we're working with fire energy this week for you guys, which is good. It indicates a physical journey, a pleasant one, a journey that brings positive development. It can also re reveal a spiritual journey, which is actually kind of interesting when we think about it. Because this week is going to be... With the veils being thinner and everything changing in that respect this has the potential to be a very powerful and strong week for our fire family so if you have that urge to maybe do a little bit longer meditation or add one in if you only do like two or three times a week this would be a good time to check in see what's going on uh, and also be willing to have the dreams come through in ways that you may not have experienced before the one thing that I have found, and this is for everybody, going through this particular time period of the year, your dreams become a lot more vivid. So pay attention to those because your uh, ancestors, your guides and guardians will communicate very, very frequently through your dreams. This week, the communication is kind of like turned up a few notches. Your second rune is... The Jira rune, or the year, color of light blue, tarot association is the fool. Astrology is Gaia herself, Earth. Uh, cycles of nature and life, something coming to fruition, effort receiving rewards. But you also have a little bit of new energy coming in. And I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing this is a little bit of Aries energy going on here. Because there's something that's flaming up, and it could just flare up and settle. And that's where the Earth comes in. When it flares up, it's time to bank that because fire has a good ability to create grow and keep the fire of passion going on a project but what I'm hearing with this one especially since the fool card comes up is there's a little bit of a flash in the pan like we're gonna get this started we're gonna do the thing but then don't actually follow through on it so that's where Gaia's energy is very strong with this one because it's saying yeah you got things started but now we have to keep everything moving but you also had that Rado rune, which is saying this is a time for growth, for expansion, things moving in ways that are going to be a lot faster than normal is what I'm hearing. So as you go through this upcoming week, really pay attention to how things are going. Pay attention to your dreams, your instincts, your gut instincts, and see what kind of changes start to pop up this week or what you're inspired to start whether it's a new workout plan, a new diet, a new part of your life, maybe starting that family. I don't know why that keeps coming up, but it does. <laughs> uh, whatever it is that's starting something new, this is really the time to start paying attention to that because you have your communication fire is really going to be open strongly this week. So let's hop over to uh, our Earth family. Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And for our Earth fam, we have your first rune. 
is Manaz, the man rune. Color of deep red. Tarot association is the magician. Astrology is Jupiter. Uh, humankind, deep wisdom held in the body, mind and body working together. Memory, interdependence of the masculine and feminine within. Earth, what I'm hearing for you this week, this is a week of balance. And I feel like this has been kind of a clarion call for you lately is to find balance within your life, within your relationships, within yourself. And what I'm hearing this week is you have the tools. The magician brings forward the tools that you are going to need to actually anchor that balance back into your life. And that's what they're saying right now is you are in a great time of you've had some shifting. You've had some lessons that you've been going through. Now it's time to like bring everything back in and find your balance again. Earth, you have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. These are very stable, grounded energies. And what's coming forward with this is you had a little upheaval in the past year. Well, most of us have, but you in particular. And this is the time for you guys to reground, recenter. Um, I'm hearing that there's going to be some interesting shifts that are occurring, beneficial down the road. But right now, it's just kind of getting everything reset for you. Your second rune is the Wunjo rune, which is the Joy rune. Color of yellow, terror association is strength. Astrology is Leo, so we're tapping into that fire energy here. A sign of happiness, harmony between people, a situation changing for the better. When you bring these two energies together, the man and joy, uh, Manaz and Wunjo, what we're hearing is this is a time for growth, stability, but you're doing so in grace and strength. This is not a time for you to be upset about things. This is a time to be like, look at how far I've come. Look at how awesome everything is. Really revel in the fact that you have overcome some of the things that have been bothering you, but also enjoy the new and miraculous that has come forward for you. What they're saying is everything that has happened has brought you to a place where your dreams actually are coming true. Your uh, challenges that you were, you know, five years ago, I'll never achieve this, but you already have today. So they're saying that this has been a time for you to like check in with yourself. And when you find that balance, you realize that you're not balancing here anymore. You're balancing up here because you have been struggling up the path and now you're at a new plateau, so to speak. So now you can set up, that's interesting, set up the next base camp so you can start your next ascent because you've already done so much and earth this week, especially with the veil being thinner, this is a time to really see that, understand it and appreciate the fact that you've had all the support on the other side, but you're the one that's had to do the work. They're there to help, you know, kind of direct you, guide you, point the direction, so to speak. But you're the one that's actively moving. It's not anything that they are doing. It's something that you've had to make those decisions for. And let's take a peek at... Do, 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 if I'm all right, buttons here. I've got too many things going on. <laughs> uh, let's look at our air family, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, if you are a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or have ha air high up in your chart, this is for you. You're starting off with the Iwaz rune, which is the yew tree, color of dark blue. Tarot association is the hanged man. Astrology is Scorpio. Working with some water energy here. Uh, protection signifies a time of death and rebirth using foresight and perseverance. Air, this is really a good time for you to look at things from a different perspective really check in with yourself and how you stand up in the world what I'm hearing is how you appear how you show up in the world is you everyone sees you a certain way and you have adopted their way of looking at it so there's this illusion energy the hanged man especially when you tie in Scorpio is saying you don't need to see yourself like everyone else does. They are seeing something that you're projecting for whatever reason. We all do it, so it's just how it is. The hanged man is saying, now it's time to look more at yourself. And the Scorpio energy is coming in saying, does it matter what they think? There's a little bit of attitude that comes with the Scorpio energy. But 
you're protected. You are actually in a state right now where you can do the inner work because it doesn't matter what the rest of them are thinking. It doesn't apply to you. You have you walk your own path. And I <laughs> I had just saw this snapping thing going on in my head. Sorry. Um, you walk your own path. It really doesn't matter what anyone else is saying. And your second rune is same as fire. We have the Jira or Yira rune, color of light blue. Tarot association is the fool. Astrology is earth, so air this could be a little bit of a challenge for you. Signifies the cycles of nature and life, something coming to fruition, efforts receiving rewards. So when you work with these two energies, you're doing the inner work, and the reward is going to show up in the fact that others are going to see a more authentic version of you. The struggle with that is you look at everything from a logical perspective, so in your mind, this is a great thing. This is what we're supposed to be doing. But according to the others, they may see it as like, oh, you changed. That's great. See how you are? You're better than all the rest of us. But that's not what Spirit is saying. You are doing these changes. You are making this growth. You are bringing yourself into a more real state of who you are. It doesn't matter what they think. You are doing this because it's what's best for you. That doesn't mean that you have to be rude or you know get arrogant about it because that's not what source is saying here what it's saying is in this moment in this time you have tried to fit yourself into a mold for someone else and what they're saying this week is a good time to take that mold and just break it because it's no longer necessary it no longer serves you with that, you're also in a beautiful state because the veil is going to be thin to hear more messages, more clarity to the questions that you may have this week. As you go through this week, understand you are divinely protected. You have brought in the, um, the energies that are going to be the most beneficial for you at this time. When you step into that protection, because you don't have to step into it, it's already there. But when you admit, agree to the fact that it exists, it actually frees you to be able to express a more authentic version of you. Most people, what I'm hearing, is, are going to be great, happy for you. Like, oh wow, you've changed, this is awesome. The handful that aren't, again, their opinions really don't matter. So, let's hop over to our water family if I get my right buttons here there we go so water let's see where we're at this is an interesting time because water is in the in some traditions is associated with the west which is also associated with the underworld so water this message could be a little interesting considering we're walking into that time of the year um, <laughs> so your first rune is the Kano rune, it's the torch or the fire. Color of light red, tarot association is the chariot. Astrology is Venus, so at least we're sticking with mostly water energy here. Signifies creative fire, awakening artistic impulses, passion, and sexual energy. Water, this week, really focus on staying grounded. <laughs> You have a lot of urges to create, to better, to change, to shift, to grow. What I'm hearing is this is a week to stay grounded and remind yourself that you don't have to do it all today. The veil is thin. You're especially into a realm where water tends to be the dominant energy. That doesn't mean you have to go into that world and hang out there all the time. Staying grounded. Remember, we have this meat suit here for a reason and stay anchored in the now moment. Allow your daydreams, allow your dreams to be revealing truths, knowledge, and communications to you. But remember, you're still here and you need to stay grounded. And they're saying with this passion, this fiery energy, this chariot energy, yeah, you're gonna have this inspiration to do everything yesterday. Take one thing at a time and work forward with it. It's actually more beneficial. You'll get a lot more accomplished and you'll feel less overwhelmed if you keep both feet on the ground and your mind in the moment versus letting it go every which direction. So your second rune is the Algae's rune, which is protection. 
color of gold. Tarot association is the moon. Astrology is cancer. I don't know if I could find a better water set than this, what we've got going on here. Uh, signifies protection from danger, resist temptation, new beginnings are possible. The veil being thin says that there's a lot of new stuff uh, coming forward for water. But you've got this combination of fire and water so that there's a dynamic. This is where you find your balance, water, because you're bringing some fire, some passion, some new beginning energy into this situation. But that can also lead to a little bit of overwhelm. So as you go through this week, make sure to stay grounded, find your balance and try those new things. Do those new things, but you don't have to do them all today. You can spread them out over the course of the week because this week is going to be some intensive energy. There's going to be some awesome dreams is what I'm hearing, but also some divine um, messages and symbols. So pay attention to things like feathers and numbers and things like that because God, Source, Divine, and your guides love to communicate in the most random ways, but it's a way to keep you paying attention to your spiritual side, which is huge and important in life in general. So as we go through this week, we are stepping into, this is for everybody, an energy of the veils being thin, the world itself is shifting into a different perspective, there is a lot of heightened energy right now. Um, this is a spiritual channel, not a other channel, but I'm just saying the energy overall is very heightened. Nerves can be very sensitive this week. And there I'm hearing that this could be a there's some bleed over into another week. But right now, the nerves are kind of sensitive. Everything is going to be a little bit more enhanced. We have that veil thinning as well, so you're going to be getting a lot more feelings from the other side and be careful with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Take the time to really appreciate the physical body you have. Enjoy the company and the presence of your loved ones, especially of your spouse, your children, and even your your furry family. Your pets are really super helpful this week. They're also saying be grounded in the things that you do. When you do something, say yes, this is what I mean. Say no. If you're not sure, say you're not sure. Be very upfront with your communication this week. The things that you speak into existence during a thin veil have ripple effects through the rest of the six month window because the other thin window of veil time is around Beltane. So we're in one of the periods, but the things that you speak into existence, the things that you set forth in this time have ripple effects going forward. So. Put the best intentions possible out there. Keep happiness and joy and peace in the center of your heart. Go forward with beauty, my elemental family, this week. And I will see you guys in the next video.